too. Jennifer is here. She says hello. She's smiling, and I hope uh, best to Anna Marie and your new grandson. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, I just talked to them a little while ago, and they're doing great at home. Uh, and Anna Marie's definitely enjoying uh, being a grandmother. Still taking a lot of pictures, and how does northern Wisconsin look from space uh, during the winter? Well, it obviously looks very uh, different during the winter time. Uh, instead of the darks of the forest and the lakes, uh, we get the whites of uh, the snow, and I know you've gotten plenty of snow up there. Uh, just passed over Duluth Superior oh, a week and a half ago or so, and I see the harbors about froze up. So I enjoyed uh, seeing that. That's much different than uh, the last time I was up here. And, uh, yes, I am taking lots of pictures. This is for uh, all three of you. Um, uh, Perhaps uh, Engineer Noguchi first. Uh, uh, do you feel like you're part of history completing the space station, uh, at least getting close to the end? Yeah, it's uh, actually a quite an honor to be on board uh, the station at this time. Uh, during our mission, we're going to have uh, the new module coming up, uh, Node 3, and a big window. And also, uh, TJ and I will start new, uh, soon to start the, uh, building a new robotic arm in the keyboard module. So I'm really happy to be here at this time. Uh, Engineer Kramer, same question. I was giving an opportunity to ask another if you needed to. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, uh, a couple of things stand out. The completion, or the, nearing the completion for sure, as well as the international crew that we have, is just a, a testament to everyone working together, one big team accomplishing something that uh, probably ranks as the largest uh, engineering project that uh, the world has ever seen in terms of how many people and how many countries are put together to, to make this happen. Absolutely part of history. Colonel Williams told me the first time he was in space, the veteran crew let him soak up the moment. Is, uh, this being your first trip, uh, is uh, Commander Williams doing the same for you? I think, I think the best thing to say about Jeff is that uh, he's mentoring us in, in uh, how to live in space and how to get, get along with the, the uniqueness of the environment. Um, has encouraged us to experience the, the, the living and, and, well, the wonder that exists here, for sure. And Engineer Noguchi, uh, uh, same question. How, how is it working for uh, Commander uh, Williams? Is he a taskmaster? <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, obviously, uh, well, we, we've been a classmate since 1996, and uh, it's uh, great to have him uh, on board. He tell me everything, how to live in space. Actually, this is my second flight, but the last time was just a short uh, uh, duration flight, and it's uh, just a, a lot of difference to live in space station. So he gave me, show me all the ropes, so I'm very delighted. And uh, Commander uh, Williams, uh, what did you do for the crew for, for Christmas? How, how, do, how were you able to celebrate? Well, we uh, celebrated first with the arrival of these guys and their Russian crewmate Oleg. Max and I had been on board by ourselves for about three weeks after uh, the last Soyuz crew left. Uh, so we were happy to see them. They arrived on the 23rd, two days before Christmas. And, of course, with a schedule like that, they uh, couldn't help but arrive bearing gifts. Uh, in fact, they were dressed up for the part as well. You might have saw their ingress video as they came in. Um, so two days later, of course, we uh, celebrated Christmas. And like uh, most folks around the world, we celebrated it primarily around the dinner table. Uh, we had some uh, special food from uh, all the countries represented here. Uh, and uh, just en enjoyed our time. We also invited the, the ground team, uh, the mission control teams uh, around the world on board to join us for the meal uh, via video, uh, and thereby they could vicariously take part in it. So we, we just had a great time. Was this your first Christmas from away from uh, home? And how, how, do you, how is it celebrating Christmas in space? Uh, it's, yeah, I have to think about it. I might have missed one or two other Christmases on military deployments. I can't remember for sure. This has definitely been my first 
Christmas away on a space flight or in in uh, working in the space program. Uh, so it it was uh, different from that respect. We all also also uh, had the opportunity to uh, have video conferences with our family on that day, so we could uh, partake a little bit in what our families were doing for Christmas and mitigate the separation a little bit. Uh, obviously, being here is very unique uh, to be here. Uh, at all, and to be here during special events like uh, Christmas, and to uh, to ponder the meaning of it and the traditions that we have uh, and share behind it, uh, as you view uh, the Earth below, it's uh, it's an incredible experience and just adds to the richness of it. I got a chance to talk to uh, uh, NASA Chief Administrator Bold in, in Moscow while I was there, and he made a point of saying that he wants more Jeff Williams out there. He wants more uh, young people from small towns, from small uh, cities to get involved in NASA. Do you, do you think that, uh, that that's, by you being up there, that, that helps that? Oh, I think by all of us being up here, whoever is up here, um, and with the uh, individual backgrounds that we all bring, we all uh, can um, uh, can contribute to the uh, inspiring of um, make an effort to get the word out and to uh, show people what we're doing. We are an open program, open to the public. There's nothing secret that we do. Um, and it is for people. It's for the national uh, countries that are represented here, as well as the international partnership. And on a broader scale, it's for the whole world. So hopefully we do bring uh, inspiration to people to, uh, uh, to maybe look past their horizons and um, be inspired to go beyond where otherwise they would go. Taking lots of uh, pictures so once again. Uh, of course, it's um, you never tire of viewing the earth from this vantage point. And of course, the last time I was here in the spring and summer into the early fall, this time it's the other seasons of the year. So you see something completely different in all parts of the world. And uh, for, for me personally, it gives an opportunity to capture uh, the images of an entire year around the globe. So I'm, I'm definitely taking lots of photography. Is there any study of climate change or, or, or changes from the vantage point of the International Space Station while you're up there? We're not specifically uh, participating in any studies in, in that regard. Obviously, all of the photography that we take is uh, public domain, and it's used not only for uh, just viewing the different sites in general, but also for a lot of uh, scientific studies. Uh, Earth scientists and others uh, use that photography for their purposes, and I'm sure that uh, the photography we're taking makes a contribution into the, those studies that you ask about. And flight engineer Noguchi, are you uh, enjoying the, watching him uh, take pictures, and is he giving any pointers? Uh, yeah, definitely. Actually, taking picture from uh, picture from the station is really a uh, tough job, and uh, probably I need uh, maybe a month or so to be before I get uh, used to taking a picture. So, obviously, uh, Jeff is a great uh, uh, photographer. Uh, I know he takes a bunch of pictures in the last mission this time also. So, uh, uh, so I'm I'm lo really looking forward to learn from him about the taking pictures. One of the things I'll add to that is uh, we change our or we change our orbital path all the time every day, and uh, we go through periods occasionally where there's not a whole lot to view that's good to take pictures. And we're actually currently in that state where we spend most of our time over the oceans and not a whole lot of time uh, over interesting places to take pictures. So we will uh, increase the the amount of activity that we do that uh, that we're taking pictures shortly plan to beat your record of uh, last trip? <laughs> well, things are a little bit busier here now, being a crew of five. We were a crew of six uh, for the first couple of months here. Uh, there's a little bit more going on than the last time. Uh, so, and, and I set the bar pretty hard for, high for myself the last time. I kind of doubt that I will beat that uh, record. A couple more questions. Uh, uh, I see we've just got a couple of minutes left, but are you looking forward to talking to the students at the winter school next week? 
I am. Uh, I uh, saw that on the schedule. It made the schedule.